Palais Boreal is an innovative educational, cultural, and community hub serving the Francophone population of Ontario. An important component of Collège Boreal is our agriculture training programs and applied research partnerships. My name is Robin Craig. I am the Director of Recherche et Innovation Boreal at Collège Boreal. Our goal is to become a hub for research and innovation and entrepreneurship in agriculture in Northern Ontario. Agriculture research in Northern Ontario is important as it will help us to address specific challenges, including food autonomy, food sovereignty, environmental sustainability, innovation and technology adoption, as well as growing the agribusiness sector in Northern Ontario. It's an exciting time for the agricultural sector in Northern Ontario. Research and innovation is increasing sustainability in crop yield. Here at Collège Boreal, we're at the forefront of agricultural innovation. Our unique combination of programs and training, high-end facilities, and team of expert professionals make us a partner of choice for businesses, entrepreneurs, community organizations looking for practical and novel solutions to a variety of agriculture-related problems. The Collège Boreal utilizes the most recent technology and discoveries to create new products, services, and procedures to improve the practice and the actual actuelles. Our personal bilingue, expert and engaged, is ready to work with you to respond to your needs and find practical solutions to your challenges. Collège Boreal is proud to partner with agribusinesses looking for support to either expand their businesses, solve an issue, or seek to further their education. We've partnered in creating lasting connections with small and large agribusinesses, First Nations communities, not-for-profit associations, industries, and government agencies. We specialize in solving issues, whether that can be done through online or in-person training, research collaborations, or mentorship. We are happy to provide collaboration opportunities that will help fill the needs of Northern Ontario agribusinesses. We can provide a multitude of services, including agribusiness incubation, support and mentorship for startups, and scaling of commercial agricultural activities and support, setting up innovative agricultural technologies. By working with Research and Innovation Boreal, our partners benefit in many ways. We can help them to de-risk their research initiatives, we can help them to access research funding for their projects, and they get to work with our professors and students, the next generation of highly qualified personnel in agriculture. Over the years, Collège Boreal has developed an expertise in technical and applied forestry research, a field in which the college has worked on several projects. Our highly skilled personnel are specialized in the study of natural soil amendments, such as wood ash and pulp sludge, as new initiatives that can improve soil health. Developing new tools and resources to improve soil health is key both for the agriculture and forestry sector. Over the past few years, our research has concentrated primarily on soil amendments using wood ash uh, from the forest industry primarily. And right now that material is not used, it's landfilled. So we thought it was an opportunity to look at that because it has very interesting characteristics for soil amendments. Uh, as a way to reduce soil acidity and increase nutrients on mining uh, affected soils, acidic soils in the Sudbury area. Uh, we can see definitely future in that and we're hoping to, to really partner with a farmer who would like to work with us to use the wood ash to try these types of, of, of amendments which are different than what's being used at present. So we're trying to find that type of partnership. By solving problems, improving an existing tool or system, or helping to develop new resources, methods, or equipment, Collège Boreal aims to foster innovation in agroforestry in Northern Ontario. Collège Boreal has the knowledge to address community innovation challenges faced by the agriculture and agri-food sectors. Recently, we're working on a new project with local organizations to help understand and really mitigate the negative economic effects of COVID-19 on the agricultural industry in Northern Ontario. The project aims to heighten connectivity within the agri-food sector while helping economic stability in the agriculture and agri-food sectors. Our modern facilities are equipped for year-long research, making us a partner of choice for startups, businesses, and community organizations looking for practical and innovative solutions to a variety of problems. The forestry greenhouse and the agricultural greenhouses are together. So at Courage Boreal, we're basically in the same facility. So one of the advantages of that is we could use the expertise of the agriculture people uh, to help us with uh, pest management and, and soil nutrients and those kinds of things. 
So we share the knowledge that we have. We also have a large walk-in freezer that we use to freeze trees, but that could also be used in agriculture. Uh, we have equipment, we have personnel. So a lot of that is shared, a lot of that knowledge is shared, and it's a huge advantage to work with agriculture here at Marea. At the moment, we have one big greenhouse that has four individual grow rooms. Each individual room is 24 by 24 feet. And what we can do is set up each individual room as a certain sector. So for example, have one room be one thing and have the second room be completely different. Uh, for example, I can have one room that's completely seedlings and then I have another room maybe that's completely hydroponics or another one that's a uh, irrigation system set up in the next room. And what I can do is apply the correct conditions and temperatures for the variety being grown in that area and um, do that for any room. Nous pouvons entreprendre n'importe quel projet en relation avec la production végétale, même la production animale. Qu'il soit les projets qu'on doit effectuer dans la serre puisque nous avons une bonne serre ou les projets qu'on peut faire en dehors de la serre donc chez les fermiers. Currently, in our greenhouse facilities, one of our research team is conducting a feasibility study where they are testing and evaluating new types of biostimulants that are known as plant growth promoters. Now, biostimulants use microorganism to increase crop yield while reducing the use for pesticide or uh, fertilizers. They also increase crop resistance to climate stressors like heat and drought. We hope that the findings of the project will help our research partner commercialize their products ultimately sustainably improving crop yield for producers all over Ontario. Uh, Collège Valais has an aquaculture at the main campus. We have four different systems. We could actually um, have four different uh, species of fish in their aquaculture. Currently, our team of experts is working on a fish farming project that aims to study the feasibility of raising lake whitefish from eggs to adult for commercial purposes. So what we do, we go on the Great Lakes, we go and get the eggs, almost 800,000 eggs. We bring them back to the college, we put them in incubators, and then when they're at an inch and a half, two inches, we bring them back to the private company. Ultimately, this project could give Northern Ontarians access to a reliable, scalable and sustainable source of fish for consumption. Our students, under the guidance of our professors and technical staff, are a key part of our research team here at Collège Boreal. So our main goal is to teach students. We get them involved in any um, research projects, any activities, um, concerning the aquaculture, greenhouse, anything we do, students are always involved. And we give them jobs during summertime and during the, the courses. My name is Danielle Henry, and I am in the second year of the Fish and Wildlife Program at Collège Boreal. What I do is PC culture. I do the breeding, harvesting of fish for commercial purposes. The interesting thing about aquaculture to me so honestly, the whole aspect from step one of the harvesting of your egg or your seed to the planting or incubating to the hatching or growing to watching them grow 10 pounds to being put into the market. It's amazing to watch it all from start to finish. Et notre philosophie d'enseignement, notre modèle pédagogique est basé sur des compétences. Donc, notre mandat, c'est préparer nos étudiants et étudiantes au marché euh, du travail, donc de répondre aux attentes des employeurs. Et ça, évidemment, dans les deux langues officielles du Canada, soit le français et l'anglais. Nous offrons deux programmes en agriculture. Un premier, un certificat d'un an, pratique agricole, et un deuxième, un programme de deux ans en technique agricole. Les objectifs du programme, c'est de former des diplômés qui répondront aux besoins du secteur agricole et de la production animale. Si un étudiant euh, décide ou veut faire une carrière dans le domaine de l'agriculture, euh, le bon choix, c'est de choisir le programme d'agriculture au Collège Boréal. Alors, notre programme existe de moins de cinq ans. Euh, il est vraiment avant-gardiste 
on a un excellent comité consultatif, donc des experts euh, qui euh, travaillent dans le domaine comme producteurs agricoles dans de toutes les différentes régions du nord de l'Ontario. Alors, c'est vraiment un programme euh, qui est à jour, qui est innovateur, euh, qui euh, répond vraiment aux besoins du marché du travail. Le Collège Boréal offre un enseignement individualisé, un service aux étudiants hors pair et de l'équipement à la fine pointe de la technologie en agriculture. En plus d'être experts dans leur domaine d'enseignement, les professeurs sont tous passionnés et veillent à la réussite de tous les étudiants. Dans les techniques agricoles, nous avons des subdivisions, des orientations, la production animale et la production végétale. Et dans la production végétale, ils font la production, ils apprennent la culture de n'importe quelle plante, que ce soit les plantes annuelles ou les plantes saisonnières ou les plantes pérennes. Dans la production animale, ils, font, ils vont apprendre comment élever n'importe quel type, que ce soit les animaux ou les oiseaux. I found uh, studying at Collège Boreal really helped me uh, prepare for my career in a sense uh, by knowing what to look for, what steps to follow, how to plan and put into play, as well as know what steps to follow when you go, get into an issue and really know to inform yourself and continuously learn and communicate with other farmers and see what kind of issues they're having and see what their input and output is. And I also found studying at Collège Boreal, I got a lot of that hands-on experience, which is what I really wanted. Um, I just find that it really gives you that like chance to really have an idea of what to expect when you're in the field, when it's that time. The greenhouse benefits the students because it gives them a sense of responsibility. And also, I believe that it helps them find that passion for agriculture a little more by being a part of projects and labs and everything that's kind of going on in the sector and in the program. First semester, we had two students from the program help me with the project. And now this semester, we have two new students continuing to help me with the projects. The skills they learn are, start from the beginning. So from planting seedlings to harvest, uh, to knowing what steps to take when a problem comes into play and finding the solution to that problem. I think the students also get to a chance to be introduced to new equipment and materials that they've never seen before. Um, that maybe also might intrigue their um, fascination and also be a part of something pretty grand. I'm Cora Wong. I'm a first year student here at Collège Boreal in the Technic Agricole program. I chose Collège Boreal because it offered the exact program I was looking for with an added bonus of being close to home. After I finish my program, I hope to be able to pursue my career as a vegetable farmer. I think it's really satisfying to know that you can start from a seed and produce food for not only yourself, but for your community as well. And it's really important to be self-sufficient. My job here at Collège Boreal is to help with the daily maintenance of the greenhouse and the plants in the greenhouse. I've learned a lot of things in class and being here in the greenhouse helped me uh, learn more about it because I was doing it hands-on, such as transplanting, watering, monitoring the soil's pH, and monitoring the temperature in the greenhouse. One of my favorite experiences about the program was that I got to learn about different cultures. We have many international students in our program and it taught me that agriculture is the same but also different around the world. I definitely encourage students who are thinking about launching themselves in this program to pursue it because there are many different aspects to uh, farming and agriculture and learning about new things. And at the end of the program, there are many different career paths that you can take. If you'd like to learn more about how Collège Boreal can help propel you into a career in agriculture, or if you're interested in partnering with us on an applied research project, contact Research and Innovation Boreal. On a hâte de travailler avec vous. So uh, this afternoon, we are joined by many of the uh, cast of characters from that film. 
We are joined by Robin Craig, Director of Research and Innovation Boreal, Brian Vinecore, uh, Vice President Business Development, Jean-Pierre Capongo, uh, Program Coordinator, Agricultural Techniques and Agricultural Technician, Sebastian Lessard, Manager of Contract Training, uh, Daniel Leduc, Dean of the School of Trades and Applied Technology and School of Environment and Natural Resources, and also uh, Sabine Bouchard, Project Officer, Research and Innovation Boreal. Um, so I have a series of questions here, and then I suppose I will let you uh, decide amongst yourselves who would be best suited to answer them. So I will start with, um, could you talk a little bit about your collaborative efforts with any other colleges or universities? I guess uh, I'll answer. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Robin Craig, uh, the Director of Research and Innovation at Collège Boreal. Um, so we are, um, we've started to uh, do some collaborations, um, especially in the area of forestry, uh, most recently with Laurentian University, looking at some soil amendments um, and how those soil amendments could eventually be transferred more into the agriculture sector. Um, and I know there were some interesting um, presentations this morning, um, looking at soil as well too. Um, maybe I'll let uh, Danielle, if you have any other collaborations you'd like to speak to. Well, thank you. I just wanted to also add, um, so there's collaboration at the research level and there's collaboration also at the um, program level. So the program delivery level. And so uh, Collège Barria works really hard to develop pathways for students um, that uh, will either start a university and then transfer on to uh, college or then from college into university. And so for us, it's a it's student mobility and uh, it allows students to start um, an education and continue uh, lifelong learning. And so for us, um, we do have collaborations uh, throughout uh, with various universities and, and other colleges. And um, in order to determine what kind of uh, the easiest pathway for students uh, to, um, I guess, navigate through the different systems is all about uh, transfers of credits and also um, some uh, experiences uh, that they've acquired through uh, working. And so those are the another level of collaboration that we do have uh, in addition to the research. And I don't know if uh, Jean-Pierre, you have uh, anything you wanted to add as well regarding uh, some collaboration with uh, our program. Oh, uh, you're muted there, Jean-Pierre. As a form last year, we have been working with uh, a private company from uh, Thunderbird testing their uh, natural fertilizer and uh, that uh, project is ongoing and what we have been testing to find uh, if you can reduce uh, the application of uh, chemical into agriculture so that uh, we produce uh, organic vegetable leaves or, for, or food and root and uh, we are hoping by end of this month to finish that uh, project and uh, Another project we are look we are looking forward to work or work and is with a college college Cambrian when they are expecting to get support technical support from our department to grow their vegetable into our premises in uh, in Sudbury is the support we are doing and then we have also been supporting small farmers around the Sudbury just uh, to do monitoring of their pests so that uh, we can focus the augmentation of uh, the heat into their uh, premises and also supporting uh, new beginning beginner farmers, don't the young farmers and uh, help, helping them to use our facilities to grow their uh, 
the vegetables, especially vegetables into our greenhouses. That one we've been doing for, and uh, we're expecting that to do more with other partner and other institutions. Thank you. Um, another question here. Uh, does the agricultural program offer a placement for students? Maybe I'll, I'll get it started and then maybe Jean-Pierre uh, could add if there's anything to add. So um, depending on which program you're going to take, there's two programs. There's the one year certificate and a two year diploma. And so the one year does not have a placement, uh, but also, but has uh, I guess we could call it mini placements or um, mentorship uh, opportunity opportunities within the pro or the, within the courses, and so that's how it's built in. However, if you're going to take the two-year diploma, there is a summer um, co-op for the students within that program. So you do your first uh, two semesters, you do your co-op during the summer, and then you fin uh, you finish with your two last uh, semesters and then you're complete um, in, within your two years for the diploma. And so that's how the, the, those two programs are structured right now uh, regarding uh, co-ops and uh, work placements. The other thing I wanted to add and it, uh, we, we, did, we did touch on it uh, within the, the video presentation is that um, we have a lot of opportunities for students to actually work within the college as well on, on various uh, research. And so um, that's another work, uh, work opportunity for the students. So there's their co-op built into the programs, but also the students will be working in the fall and the winter within our facilities and uh, support some of the activities that are happening within our greenhouse. Thanks, Daniel. Um, so how do you effectively reach farmers for finding out what it is uh, that they think need to be researched and how would you include them in that process? Uh, I don't know if I can just go and then support uh, Daniel. It's about uh, how we do reach farmers. It's like recently uh, we have been reached by some municipalities, uh, the one at uh, ABTBT where they want uh, to get uh, some of our students to learn what they are doing there and uh, and the opportunity to opening in their municipality if they can after their studies to go and then begin farming in their communities so those are opening marketing and some uh, organizations and some people are con uh, contacting us and uh, to learn about our programs and how we can also make available our students to their opportunities that are creating into their uh, areas. Thank you, Jean-Pierre. Um, if I could, yeah. uh, sorry, Cameron, if I just uh, add on a little bit. And so um, there's also the program advisor committees that are very active. And so we have a, a, um, a meeting once a year with, uh, with farmers and producers and experts. And within this, uh, this meeting, we do discuss the quality of the program, how we can improve the quality of the program, and, but also discuss uh, research opportunities. And it's a networking opportunity as well for, uh, for, for the community to uh, really know and get to know us. And then um, that way we were able to, to reach, reach out uh, adapt our services, adapt our program to the needs, uh, but also we also have uh, opportunities to get to learn uh, and uh, and work together this way. So that's another way that we do reach out uh, and uh, and then the community reaches out to us as well. Thanks, Daniel. Um, one more question. Um, so you talked about using wood ash in some of your uh, projects. So do you obtain the uh, non-agricultural source materials certificates for the farmer or would you help them obtain it? How would things like that, receiving certifications for your projects work?
Yes, uh, well, maybe I'll start by answering that one. So, uh, yeah, definitely through um, through our office, we would we would work in conjunction, um, you know, with the the partner and our researchers at Boreal to obtain any certification that's that's required in terms of the materials that we would be using. So basically, like my role and Sabine, we try and remove all the the barriers for for. Um, you know, partners working with us or wanting to innovate or experiment in terms of different types of projects. Thank you, Robin. Uh, one more question. So how are the courses delivered during the pandemic? How has that changed sort of the hands-on uh, aspect of the, you know, the aquaculture and the greenhouses that you showed in your video? Maybe I'll get it started and then Jean-Pierre could add on the course delivery because uh, he's been with the team of professors been adapting their teaching. And so with any of our, of our courses, we have to determine what's uh, mandatory for face-to-face uh, -face and what's what could be done uh, via um, a different wave, or example, using Zooms such as this uh, conference. And so uh, there's been an, an intensive analysis of all of our programs, all of our courses, and all of our deliveries to see what we can do uh, remotely and what we need to do in person. And so if we're touching specifically the program, um, the agricultural program, uh, we were fortunate that the program was developed with a high percentage of remote teaching. The first year is actually uh, you're able to uh, study uh, remotely for the first year. Uh, with uh, the the face to face uh, with a, a mentor in your community, and so for us that was uh, we were very fortunate to have that. And in the face to face for students that are in Sudbury was done actually uh, at our facilities, and so we were able to uh, using social distancing and protocols in place, we were able to uh, continue doing the teaching and also continue doing the research. Um, it, it did have, a, you know, additional, um, you know, uh, issues to deal with and the ever uh, changing policies of the, of the, uh, the government telling us uh, how to uh, properly uh, work and the local uh, health units also helping us. And so for us, it's been a, a challenging but a rewarding experience and we were able to adapt our, our working to be able to deliver uh, the programs and also the, the research. I don't know, Jean-Pierre, if there's anything you wanted to add about the, the experience on the professor side of uh, teaching in the COVID pandemic. Yes, uh, what I can uh, add to what has been said is uh, the COVID he came and they found us already in advance uh, into that te technology because from 2017, when I started with College Boreal, I've been teaching online using the Zoom. And uh, some of uh, the practical uh, side of uh, my teaching, I could do some uh, simulation using the what uh, by video and uh, do some simulation with the student. And since we do have a small numbers of students, it's easy to keep, uh, uh, to respect the COVID uh, uh, distancial, uh, uh, social dis distance, because we have seven, 10 uh, students, less than 10 students. And then our, our rooms are for more than 30 students. It's easy to keep them uh, from uh, distancing them from what uh, two three meters from each other, and when it came to, to use those the same student working to the the greenhouses, who we'll split them into in the in the time and in the space. It means that if uh, some are working today, others they may come only working one day later. Even the time since we have a uh, two uh, four compartment we don't allow all of them work in the same compartment and they'll be work that one is in it means that we split them in the space like this one they work in the uh, compartment one when other work in the compartment two and you could see even when uh, those students they were presenting their uh, they were 
talking about the programs, they could wear the mask and are, they are wearing masks to protect themselves. So what the measures we have been taking and then uh, protecting the students to get uh, contaminated by the COVID-19. Thank you, Jean-Pierre. And uh, thank you to everyone from College Boreal who has joined us today.